So I've got my problem here, which is the fact that I scraped this off and there's some plaster being exposed. So I'm going to try and miscoat these areas first and then I'm going to apply some filler and then do a final coat. And I've got everything covered up. I've got the radiator covered up, the floor covered up. And I'm going to mist coat it with the same colour, which is basically a bit of water and a bit of uh, paint, 50-50, usually a mist coat. And um, I'm going to see if it works, because uh, I've got all these areas that are that need to be filled up to be filled, so that's all nice and smooth. So what the mist coat does is basically it, it absorbs into the fresh plaster because it's got a lot of water in it and the plaster is going to be hungry for water. So when it, when you, if you don't use a mist coat what happens is a fresh coat doesn't bond onto it. It just doesn't bond onto it properly because it loses all its water. I've got this area to do. Okay, some areas here. And you can see that just the water is just going out. So that's done. But now I have to go behind the radiator. Because there's still some flesh, fresh paint down there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint behind the radiator using the rad roller and I'm going to do it with very low amounts of paint just in case anything falls over there and drips and it's going to be very tricky with a camera in my hand but I'm going to try my best so I take it at the back and oops already some of it has touched it and I'm going to try to go as low as possible but then I'm going to switch to a brush to touch the base okay I'm going to also go right here but I've already been here and then I'm going to get a tissue to clean it all up. So overall I am happy with this, although it's not the best and I have gone to back parts behind the radiator, but it's not the best job and I know it. And. Um, I can say it's over. The only thing left is to paint this radiator, which I will do. And whenever I paint a radiator with radiator and animal, I won't be in the room for two days. Um, if it gets sleeping, you can't even be in the room for about two days. That's how long it takes to cure the paint 
So that's another job. I'm going to wait for this all to dry up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this and then put the first coat on it. So I'm going to put the TRV back on and I'm going to try to do it with one hand but ideally you need uh, two hands. I think I'll try and do it. Yep, done. And that should be it. Okay. Mm.